Hello, my name is Travis Lenz. It's November 2nd, 2010, and I'm going to go through my vegetable oil conversion kit. This one here I've sold to do a complete testing for every kit that I buy. Um, I'm just going to basically run through this system, test it, and then I'll talk through it at the same time. Right now I'm just testing it by hooking it up to my wife's car. It's not actually connected, it's just using the battery. Um, what I do is I mount the switches and the lights in this little conduit box and that's basically really meant temporarily until you want to, you know, the preferred method is to mount these in your dash but many people choose just to keep them in there. It's it still um, looks nice. You can put some conduit on. i got a bend in line here. So either way. What I've got here is I've got a bypass switch and then a fuel selector switch, FSS. So basically the bypass, if you turn it on, see this waste vegetable oil light comes on and what it does is it bypasses, it turns the solenoid to vegetable oil. The default state is diesel, so when you turn it on, it bypasses them. And what that does, is it allows you to override the system to switch to vegetable oil prior to what the, the system wants to, or if you want to purge air out of the system. And i will show you how this works a little bit here. And this is a three-way solenoid valve. The default state is diesel, so meaning when there's no power to it, diesel will be going through this thing to your engine like normal. And right now, you see this line going into here is where the vegetable oil flows through this 16 plate stainless steel heat exchanger. And then it gets filtered through a strainer and through a filter, cartridge filter before it goes to your engine. So right now, I'm trying to blow on that. But I can't, can't blow, but as soon as I connect the switch, see the light was on? But now I'm blowing through. I turn it off. Nothing. So that just shows you how the solenoid valve works. Basically, you know, I always like to test everything out with air. Um, and then the other switch here is what I call the fuel selector switch. And and I've also got like a, a little red light here that's just used really for troubleshooting purposes. And when this red light is on, it tells me that the heater's on. Just because I've got a high temp shut off, so. I, it's just sort of indication of how often it's on and off. So what I'm going to do right now, just like you would normally when you're driving, is you turn on the fuel selector switch. You see that this red light is on, meaning the heater is on, and this light is on here, meaning that the system is energized. So basically you'd be driving along and it's still on vegetable oil until this light turns on. And that's operated by, basically what there is, is, is these wires here, and at the end of my 150 watt heater, there's a temperature switch. So when it gets hot enough, it clicks the temperature switch, uh, which equates to around 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you run a good warm vegetable oil. So right now, this baby's just starting to heat up a little bit. Takes a little bit to get going. And it's a little cold out here, side so A2. But like I said, whenever that red light is on, it's another way to know that the heater's on. So you could or you could not mount that on your dash, not necessary. So it gets hotter at this end first. And right now I don't have fuel flow through and flowing through here, so it will heat up um, quicker, um, basically, than normal. But then again, when you're running your engine, you'd have coolant running through this heat exchanger, which would also be heating the oil through this heat exchanger. And this is a dual system. Say so the heat exchanger uh, alone, when your engine's up to full temperature, this could provide enough temperature. It has 16 plates in here to heat the oil. But then this gives you additional temperature um, for startup, allows you to switch sooner and gives you additional heat if you need it um, just for high fuel flow. And I got everything labeled here. So this is where you'd hook to your injection pump. And this little unit you see right here is called my high temperature shutoff switch. And what this is, is I'll show you in a bit here, but this will be mounted on the exit of this tube. And what it does is it'll shut off the heater if it gets too warm which sometimes under low flow situations you could actually get too much flow, I mean too much heat and you may want to shut that thing off. So I'm just feeling this, it's it's a little warm, not too hot. So like I said, normally you'd be driving right now and five minutes it should be up to temp depending on how cold it is sooner um, if it's warmer out. So like I said, this, this isn't going to be a true case, it's probably going to take a couple minutes to heat up warm enough. Um, to heat this because you don't have the cold fuel flowing through it to keep it cool. So it's, it's nice and toasty there. I can definitely feel some heat here. It's warmer at this end because it's shorter. 
It's quite a bit warmer down there. That's because actually uh, it's so much hotter because the coils and the heater are all the way through here. Another thing I'm going to show you here is this little T. Um, it's labeled as well, but that's for looping your fuel return. You always got to take your re fuel return that would go to the tank, and you got to loop it into here because otherwise, if you don't, when you're running vegetable oil, you'll return vegetable oil into your diesel tank, which will then you'll end up with diesel in your vegetable oil tank, and it could overflow. So that's important to know. So it's starting to get warm now. I think it'll switch here pretty quick. When it does switch, solenoid will click, the light will engage, and the light up here will light up. Oh, see, it just lit up. See. So the waste vegetable light is on. See the little light is on in there, and I can blow through here now. So now we would be running on vegetable oil. Um, trucking along, basically. And then what you would do is before you're ready to shut off your vehicle, you would turn the selector switch off, um, click it off, and then that would uh, um, basically, you have about five minutes ahead of time to purge the diesel, purge the vegetable oil out of the system with diesel, sorry. Um, another thing here too on these heaters, I mean these filters, they both have drain cocks on the bottom and those are sort of dual purpose. When you first install it, you can flip it upside down, open them up to purge the air out, and then when you are running, if you get any water or debris settling out, you can drain it out of those filters. Okay, so now I want to show you, like I say, we'd be running vegetable oil, this heater's warm. Um, we'll show you how the temperature, high temperature works. Now normally this would be mounted on the end here. Um, and it would take quite a while for it got till it got hot enough to trip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just manually locate it down here on this hot part. All right, so now I got that on there. So now watch. See that when that red light turns off, it means the heater's off. So I'm waiting for that temperature switch to get hot enough to engage. Might take a little bit. Yeah, see I'm holding it down here on the hot part and the heater will stay, or the solenoid will stay on. See, you hear that click? And see that light turned off? So now, we're still running vegetable oil, but see the light's still on, but the heater's off. And that's just a temperature, you know, safety device, so you don't overheat the system. Like sometimes in a really low flow, it could overheat. So you definitely want to make sure that works. Um, battery's almost dead. Let me just quickly go grab an ice pack here. And I'll just quickly cool that off to show you how it goes back on. My other feet going. Oh, it just went back on itself. I didn't even need to see it. I just heard it click. See that? It went back on red. So that's just because it cooled down enough. So now the heater is back on. So that shows you how the high temperature works. Um, and that's really, I guess, about the gist of the system. So these here are my two relays. Um, which basically allow you to uh, turn on and off the heater and this is a high temp one, the other one's the one that